Welcome back to the writer's room. It is Halloween Redux month here at Hollywood Redux. So today we are talking about the scariest movies we've ever seen. Boom. Oh! <laughs> I just shit myself. Oh. Welcome back to the writer's room. It is Halloween Redux here on the show. The whole month of October we're celebrating the spookiest, the most horrific, the most glorious of all the scary things. Yes. <laughs> Halloween, you know, you get it. <laughs> so uh, in honor of that, we're talking about the scariest movies on the writer's room today. That's true. That's right. I'm your host, Katie. I'm Michael. I'm Matt. And I'm Krizali, and you can find us at HollywoodRedux.com. Yeah, and as Katie said, we're celebrating Halloween Redux, which is why we're talking about our scariest movies we've ever seen today. Who would like to kick off the discussion of scariest movies we've ever seen? What's the scariest movie you've ever seen, Mike? I don't know about scariest right off the top, yeah. but I'm going to go with an award winner from my childhood. Um, Idle Hands. Terrified. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Idle Hands is both funny and, and creepy. I didn't... Seth Green, man. Seth Green, yeah. That's where I first saw him. I'm a little yeah. 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 I was terrified by that movie. The thought of your hand being able to control itself... And then you having to chop it off and put it in a mi uh, microwave to try to kill it. Well, yeah, that's well, a like, terrifying that. thought. Like, <laughs> like, how about that teaser? Like, that teaser, the whole, like, oh, no. opening scene with the parents. And, like, they're going down. They're like, Ethan! <laughs> like, looking for, like, the, their son. And then all of a sudden, run, like, she's dead downstairs. And then gets pulled. And then, oh, yeah. It was cool. I love the jumping bed, and then there's a giant splat of blood that comes out from underneath it. Naturally. It's Naturally. It's yeah. messed up. The, the scalped head and everything. Just, mm. Yeah. No from the lead singer of The Offspring. They were, <laughs> the Offspring's randomly playing their, like, <laughs> Halloween ball. I love that. They have enough money to do that. Yeah. yeah. Sure. <laughs> you know. I guess if Fast Time's going to have, like, the Eagles playing. <laughs> wow. The Eagles, point, like, yeah. a cover band. <laughs> Straight up the Eagles track. <laughs> what about you, Katie? What was your scariest movie you've ever seen? Well, the scariest movie I've ever seen is not a widely seen movie. Mm -hmm. Back when I started doing film work uh, a few years ago, I came across this movie that was already made by two brothers named the Dowdle Brothers. It's called The Poughkeepsie Tapes. And I, it got caught up in the uh, all the stuff with the um, MGM library getting yeah. caught up and everything. So it didn't really get a wide release. But it was the scariest movie ever, I've ever seen. It was a found footage style movie about this serial killer uh, who left a uh, library of tapes behind that the investigators found and were going through. In and Poughkeepsie, New York? Yeah, in Poughkeepsie, yeah. And it's the it's uh, one of the things that the serial killer does while he's like ramping up his process, basically. Uh -huh. He uh, like finds this little girl like playing on a lawn and like uh. hits her with the camera. Mm -hmm. oh. It's 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 a shocking movie. Things happen in it where you're just sort of not expecting them because it's a found footage movie. So there's a lot of interviews. It, mm. It's comprised of interviews with the people who are involved in some of the cases. Like there's a victim from the serial killer that gets returned sort of alive, uh, technically sorry, alive uh, after like years of abuse with the serial killer. Geez. Yeah. And, and, um, since it's really hard to see this movie, I'll just describe this last moment and then we can move on. But there, spoiler alert. There, just in uh, case. Well, you'll, I don't know how to get a hold of the movie to ever see it. So let me just tell you why it was so scary. Um, and then there were also there was also of course all this footage from the tapes, which was footage of the killer doing all of his stuff over the years. But anyway, the, one of the scariest moments in it wasn't even the scary stuff on the tapes. It was the victim talking to. Uh, interviewers after that she had been returned and she had been living back with like her parents and she was safe and uh, she's asked a question and you don't see her arms she's just sitting kind of like this and you see like her torso she asked a question and she raises her arm to scratch her head and her like arm is cut and she just has like a little Jeez. like left like part of her arm and she scratches her head and you're just like that's the it's first just like a fork jammed in there and she just like scratches her head that you just it's the they it's a really a beautiful way to illustrate the horrendous things that like the horror of what her like life is. <laughs> it was a it was a very very much a horror movie. The one shot I remember from the trailer is like him sitting the the killer sitting in a car and like zooming in at somebody across the street but you can hear them kind of like laughing. Mm. Like Yeah, there's like, a lot of giggling. Eerie stuff. 
And I remember that. That creeped me out a lot. Yeah, the stuff in that movie that is scary is the stuff that you would not expect to be scary. Like, there's a there's a whole sequence where he uh, puts on this, like, El Doctore mask, like, Renaissance, like, plague yeah. doctor mask, and stalks this uh, teenage victim and, like, uh, is, like, watching her in the mask in the dark of the room and stuff with her with the camera. It's, mm-hmm. a, it was a very creepy movie, for sure. Sweet. Yeah. Nice. But yeah. uh, I, I don't know how you watch it. It's it sucks because I wish that I could recommend. I'm sure, we could find it somewhere. I'm sure it's on iTunes or yeah. something. Check we'll it out a if, link we can. if we find. I mean, it had a limited release. It should be somewhere. Yeah, but the scariest <laughs> movie when I was a kid um, that really like opened my eyes to the whole invisible world of scary movies was Poltergeist. The uh, yeah. Poltergeist scared right. the hell out of me as a kid. Yeah, like Spielberg, Spielberg kind of uh, overseen vehicle. Mm. It was so scary because the magic really seemed real in it. Like her getting pulled into the closet, yeah. the little girl getting pulled into the closet. Yeah. This clown. Yeah. yeah. What about I you, Chris? Like... What was your scariest movie you've ever seen? Uh, my scariest movie would have to be Scream. And <laughs> there's, I mean, there's a reason why that's actually one of the most terrifying movies I've seen. <laughs> just because uh, it was, you know, the typical movie you watch at home, lights off and everything. And in the process of that phone call happening my actual house phone dialed itself and i freaked the <laughs> fuck out oh yeah didn't watch the it rest dialed, of it. hold on your phone dialed like itself the, yes i checked the phone number and it was the house calling itself the sounds call like byron came from inside sounds like byron side it's, to mess with you. <laughs> well this couldn't have been him because like he was a lot smaller and like he was you know watching the movie with me so he, yeah it was a uh, one of those where uh, that was very too too real for me, and uh, never never really watched horror movies after that for a while. Because the, came, the sure. call came from inside the yeah, house. Yeah, which was, yeah. talk about a fucking movie reel yeah. <laughs> experience right there. That reminds me of a time I was watching Zodiac, and I've... a scary movie. That's it's a, a scary I was by movie. myself, and like the way my apartment <laughs> used to sit, my couch was right next to the window, next to my door to get into my house. So I'm watching this scary movie. I was by myself. It was oh. dark out. I'm in Southern California. I'm like, hmm, yeah, maybe what if they, what if that guy is still alive? And what if it wasn't who they thought it was? And uh, and then bang, 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 right next to my head on the door. And it was like my landlord or something at the time. But, I, like, I screamed. Like, I could have broke glass. It was one of those so moments where it gets you off guard, right? <laughs> yeah. You're like, it's too real. It's too real. I love it. I yeah, love that it's stuff. Fantastic. It's like, it's, it's literally a, a, an interpretation of, like, the campfire story and somebody just going, like, and then the ghost came out of there, and it scares everybody at the at the campfire. It's fun. So that was my. I remember seeing Scream the first time. That scared the hell out of me too. That was terrifying. Yeah. I was afraid man. whenever the phone would ring for a couple couple weeks. Yeah. The Shining really scared me when I was. I saw it when I was a little too young, and it. I I didn't make it all the way through. I made it to the lady in the tub, and that was it. And I was like, I it's don't. Know, I don't know what's happening in that scene, but I can't look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a giant it's still old a lady tough one baby. To get through. That's Water for free when watching yeah. it, that young I, man. Somebody had it on in like a sleepover party. You know, someone's parents let them have it or whatever, and they were like, "Let's watch this one." And I was just like, "I have to go. Good job, parents. I have to go read yeah. the Bible." That's how I saw it. <laughs> it. That's how I yeah. That's how slumber I saw party. It scared me when I was little. Holy hell! Yeah. Could, yeah. Can't do it, man. That's one of the scariest. Can't do the it. The scariest uh, sequences ever to conceive of is that sequence with Pennywise and the little boy, and just like yanking him down to the sewer grate, oh. literally to eat his. Like Georgie soul, yeah. Oh, poor Georgie. It's Hi, iconic. Georgie. That's a, that's a scary scene. Yeah, that's how I was introduced to The Exorcist at a, a slumber party. The Exorcist. Oh, God. The Exorcist, the Exorcist is, is a solid. Scary movie. I think it still holds up. Still yeah, holds up. We just watched it. Yeah. One of the yeah. scariest ones, hands down. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> still to, this to day. the day. I think. Yeah, right. Exorcist is one of the scariest films I've ever seen. Uh, hilariously, I watched it like a year or two ago, and it still creeped me out. Was uh, uh, Candyman. <laughs> Candyman holds I I think I Candyman it. holds up. I don't know why, but f- Candyman scares the hell out of He's me. He's a scary figure with those bees. Well, it's a very like and everything. It's not like your stereotypical horror movie where it's like in a nice place or a nice setting. It's yeah. in a really like realistic setting, and it it's scary. It yeah. still holds up. It's yeah. you know. Anyway, that one scares me. Candyman. I mean, The Shining is another one that scares like. Like, it doesn't scare me anymore. I actually respect the hell out of it. I think it's, like, a piece of work, like, a real yeah. piece of art. But, like, that one as a kid scared me so much it took me a few years to watch it. Mm-hmm. But I think the scariest movie I ever saw is actually not a horror movie. I guess it could be a horror movie. It's more of a sci-fi, but 
uh, was Fire in the Sky. <laughs> Fire in the Sky, uh, and I've talked about it on the show many times, ruined me for like two weeks as a kid. I don't think I slept more than an hour because I was afraid <laughs> that I was going to be abducted by aliens and a needle would be shoved in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it may also be another reason I don't like going to the doctor and getting shots is well, that's fire very, in the sky. Very wow. valid reason not to. Yeah. <laughs> Mom thought she was getting Lost Boys, brought home fire in the sky. And uh, that's that was a little off. Time Back out. in the days of Blockbuster, uh, where you'd go and pick up a movie. It was a movie wow. mix-up? It was a movie mix-up oh on VHS. Even oh. better, you yep. guys. Oh, that's VHS. Horrifying. Really Ruined me. Anyway. Who did that? Yeah. Kudos to you, man. <laughs> Did we mention any of your favorite films on today's episode? Let us know in the comments below. For this week, that's going to do it for us. If you have not yet registered to win one of our prize giveaways, click the link in the description, and you will find out how you can enter to win some of our cool prizes. We've got shirts and all sorts of fun stuff we're giving away this month for Halloween Redux. But for the Writer's Room, that's going to do it for us. My name is Matt. You can find me at Splashdown1 on all social media. I'm Crisali. You can find me at Crisali on all social medias. I'm Katie. I'm at Kim Oles. I am Michael, and I'm at What the Hess. And we're coming to you from HollywoodRedux.com. Check out all of our other shows, which are also celebrating Halloween Redux this month. K-Files got a lot of gory and messy and fun, scary episodes from the X-Files. Gross ones. And IGL Super is gross. playing a ton of horror-themed video games. And believe me, you want to see our host, AJ playing out lots last. of screaming guys just saying it is brilliant Go you guys it. will love it if you haven't seen it that came out last week i believe yep. so you know check it enjoy. out enjoy enjoy <laughs> yeah but for the writers room that's going to do it for us this week hope you guys are enjoying halloween redux be sure to tweet some of your favorite horror movies at us and use the hashtag halloween redux and tag us in the post and we'll be happy to retweet and talk back to you so we'll see you next time guys thank you bye 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 Oh, here comes the fog. Oh, here it goes. Ah. 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 This is what Jamie Lee Curtis felt like in the 80s. Ah.